Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 27 of Book 7. Now in this proposition, if we have two numbers, a and b, which are relatively prime, and if we construct other numbers, c, d, e, and f, that are basically a squared, a cubed, and b squared, and b cubed, then if a and b are relatively prime, then a squared and b squared are relatively prime, and a cubed and b cubed are relatively primed. So let's demonstrate this proof. So first, since we have a and b relatively prime, and we have that c is equal to a times a, or a squared, then a squared and b are relatively prime, according to Proposition 25 of this book. So if a squared and b are relatively prime, then c and b are also relatively prime, because again, c is just equal to a squared. Now if c and b are relatively prime, then c and b squared are relatively prime. And since b squared is equal to e, we have that c and e are relatively prime. Or in other words, a squared and b squared are relatively prime. Now let's go the other way and we start with a and b. So if a and b are relatively prime, then a and b squared are relatively prime, proposition 25 again. And since b squared is equal to e, then a and e are relatively prime. Now, a and b are relatively prime, c and b are relatively prime, c and e relatively prime, and a and e are relatively prime. So if you look at proposition 26 of this book, in other words, the previous proposition, then a times c will be relatively prime to uh, e times b. And that's because a is relatively to prime to b and e, so a is relatively prime to b times e. And likewise, if b times e is relatively prime to c and a, then c times a will also be relatively prime to b times e. So all of this, what I'm stating here, comes from Proposition 26. So we have that a times c is relatively prime to b times e. Now a times c is equal to d, and b times e is equal to f, so we have that d and f are relatively prime. Well, d is equal to a cubed, f is equal to b cubed, so we have a cubed and b cubed are relatively prime. So to summarize, we started off with two numbers a and b that are relatively prime, and we have shown that a squared and b squared are also relatively prime, and a cubed and b cubed are relatively prime. So that's it for this proof.